I'll sell a Spanish bitches demon low She say it's for her and not for me to know She always wanna know why I don't let her roll So shit you say for you is just for me to know I said the face is in my roll and never tick tock so you guys welcome back to my channel did you notice i don't know if you guys can notice if i look just a little bit more clearer i have a new lens on my camera a rented lens let me know how you guys like the quality of this lens so i decided to do this nice teal eye i'm supposed to be getting my nails done and i've been dying to do them teal so i did one eye off camera just to save me some time because your girl is running behind i got some errands to do and i've been on the phone yip yapping so let's get right into this tutorial. So starting off with this tutorial, I've already prepped and primed my eye with the Shape Tape in Tan Sand. And I set that with the Laura Mercier powder. Hopping into my NYX Ultimate Palette, I'm going to be taking this teal shade. This teal shade literally matches the background. This teal shade right here. And I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush and placing that right into my crease area and yeah and for this you can like wing it out as well Then I'm taking the Santa Fe brush just to like blend out anything. It's a clean blending brush. Hopping into the next shade which inspired this look is this Maybelline Expert um, eyewear thing. It's like this teal color. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try to create a look with this. It's really, really pigmented, so I'm just going in with that. And I'm going to be going in with this more tapered blending brush right here. And placing that in my crease. Hello. Hello. What's going on? What's up, me? What's going on, B? <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Right. Say hi to YouTube. Right. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. It's Tyra, guys. I'm going to be taking my NYX concealer in number four and basically cutting out my crease. What I like to do for this is like follow my natural crease that I have and then slowly but surely with like no product just drag it like yeah just drag it and then I just do this because what if I look up and then the concealer gets up there I just really really take my time during this step because I don't want to mess up. So now I'm going to set my eye with some lower powder. Nothing too fancy fancy. I'm just going to take a Real Technique sponge and basically set that concealer so it won't crease on me or get on top of my eyeshadow that I have. So off camera I'm going to do my eyeliner which is when we're using the Too Faced eyeliner pen. That same concealer brush i'm gonna apply that i used to carve out my crease i'm gonna apply some mac mixing medium and do not apply do not apply a lot of this just because it will make your eyeshadow start cracking if you apply it too much
Then this next step is optional, but because I have hooded eyelids, um, this kind of isn't optional for me. Um, I'm going to take the rest of the MAC and Mixing Medium that I have on my hand and basically set the eyeshadow just, just so it doesn't get too much into my crease because your girl has hooded eyes. So yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit and basically just set it in place. I'm going to be going in with my NYX Crystal Liner and then my NYX face and body glitter this is basically going to be my glitter glue i'm just going to take just a little bit and put this on my eye for a little added sparkle hopping right into foundation i'm going to be using the cover effect mattifying primer so let's see what this does i went recently went to sephora and i then picked up a few things including a new beauty blender but yeah i'm just gonna use this as my primer today But first, I'm going to blend out any creasing underneath the eye that may have formed while I was doing my contour. And I'm going to take the same beauty blender. This is the first time I'm doing this. Dip it into the thing. Get off any excess. Start from the outer corner. take the Anastasia contour palette and just use the middle shade right here just to contour further contour
my Maybelline 560 raw chocolate and putting this all over my lips. Then I'm going in with the Sephora Collection Gel Gloss in Sand. It's so pretty. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial that I put together. Don't forget to comment down below what other looks you would like to see. How do you guys like this lens? Should I? Do you guys like the way it looks? Let me know. But I'm still working on the kinks of the photography aspect. But I will see you in my next tutorial. Tell them niggas drop a hole in the zip lock